Hey Lord Chia, Wikipedia Audio Hey Lord Chia, are a class of the Uriarchiata, found in water saturated or nearly saturated with salt. Halobacteria are now recognized as archaea, rather than bacteria. The name Halobacteria was assigned to this group of organisms before the existence of the domain archaea was realized, and remains valid according to taxonomic rules. In a non-taxonomic context, halophilic archaea are referred to as Halorchia to distinguish them from halophilic bacteria. These microorganisms are members of the halophile community, in that they require high salt concentrations to grow. They are a distinct evolutionary branch of the archaea, and are generally considered extremophiles, although not all members of this group can be regarded as such. Halorchia can grow aerobically or anaerobically. Parts of the membranes of Halorchia are purplish in color and large blooms of Halorchia appear reddish, from the pigment bacterio rhodopsin, related to the retinal pigment rhodopsin which it uses to transform light energy into chemical energy by a process unrelated to chlorophyll-based photosynthesis. Taxonomy Halorchia have a potential to solubilize phosphorus. Phosphorus solubilizing halophilic archaea may well play a role in pea nutrition to vegetation growing in hypersaline soils. Halorchia may also have application as inoculants for crops growing in hypersaline regions. The extremely halophilic, aerobic members of archaea are classified within the family Halobacteriaceae, order Halobacterials in class 3. Halobacteria of the phylum Uriarchiata As of May 2016, the family Halobacteriaceae comprises 50 genera 213 species. Halobacteria, Halobacterials, Halobacteriaceae, Halodoptatus, Halodoptatus sibirius, Halodoptatus litoreus, Halodoptatus paladirabigus. Halodoptatus posse halophilus. Domain, Archaea. Uriarchiata. Nonvalid. Classification of Gupta etl. Halobacterials. Halorubrum sphaxens, Candidatus halobonum tyrellensis. Candidatus haloectosymbiotes riaformisensis. Halopigurgilfa massiliensis sp. Halopigurgoli massiliensis. Halophorax namakea kahea. Halorubrum tropi kale. Halorcula rubri promontorii. Halobacterium hubaeens. Haloptatus. Halocolococcus. Halorchiobius. Halarchium. Halobacterium. Halocalculus, Halorubellus, Halorussus, Halozicatus, Halovenus, Natrinoarchium, Natrinomonas, Salarchium. Halopricum, Halorcula, Halomicroarcula, Halomicrobium, Halorientalis, Halorhovdus, Halosimplex. Halobacteriaceae. Living environment Halococcus Halophericales Halobellus, Halophorax, Halogeometricum, Halopelagius, Haloplanus, Haloquadratum, Halosarcina Halobaculum, Haloosta, Halolamina, Halonatius, Halopenitus, Halorubrum Salinigranum. Natriobals. Halobiforma, Halopigur, Halostanicola, Haloterigena, Halovarius, Halovivax, Natrioba, Natrobaculum, Natrinobacterium, Natrinococcus, Natrinolimnobius, 
Natrinorubrum, Salinarchium. Halorchia require salt concentrations in excess of 2 m to grow, and optimal growth usually occurs at much higher concentrations, typically 20-25%. However, Halorchia can grow up to saturation. Adaptations to Environment Phototrophy in Halorchia Halorchia are found mainly in hypersaline lakes and solar salterns. Their high densities in the water often lead to pink or red colorations of the water. Halorchulaceae Cellular Shapes Halorchia as exophiles Halorchia can grow at an AW close to 0.75, yet a water activity lower than 0.90 is inhibitory to most microbes. The number of solutes causes osmotic stress on microbes, which can cause cell lysis, unfolding of proteins and inactivation of enzymes when there is a large enough imbalance. Halorchia combat this by retaining compatible solutes such as potassium chloride in their intracellular space to allow them to balance osmotic pressure. Retaining these salts is referred to as the salt-in method where the cell accumulates a high internal concentration of potassium. Because of the elevated potassium levels, Halorchia have specialized proteins which have a highly negative surface charge to tolerate high potassium concentrations. Halicocaceae Halorchia have adapted to use glycerol as a carbon and energy source in catabolic processes, which is often present in high salt environments due to Denaliella species that produce glycerol in large quantities. Haliferocaceae Bacteriorhodopsin is used to absorb light, which provides energy to transport protons across the cellular membrane. The concentration gradient generated from this process can then be used to synthesize ADP. Many halorchia also possess related pigments, including halorhodopsin, which pumps chloride ions in the cell in response to photons creating a voltage gradient and assisting in the production of energy from light. The process is unrelated to other forms of photosynthesis involving electron transport however, and halorchia are incapable of fixing carbon from carbon dioxide. Halorubracea Scientific Journals Halorchia are often considered pleomorphic or able to take on a range of shapes even within a single species. This makes identification by microscopic means difficult, and it is now more common to use gene sequencing techniques for identification instead. One of the more unusually shaped halorchia is the square halorchian of Walsby. It was classified in 2004 using a very low nutrition solution to allow growth along with a high salt concentration, square in shape and extremely thin. This shape is probably only permitted by the high osmolarity of the water, permitting cell shapes that would be difficult, if not impossible, under other conditions. Halorchia have been proposed as a kind of life that could live on Mars, since the Martian atmosphere has a pressure below the triple point of water, freshwater species would have no habitat on the Martian surface. Scientific Books Natrial Basie Scientific Databases